I want you to cast your eyes over this picture. I want you to imagine you're a localizer wanting to keep Yu-Gi-Oh kid friendly. You don't want to make those kids violent through card games like those pesky video games. No, this wholesome game and any evil needs to be quashed out. Give up? Here's the thorns in the little tiny image in the corner. Now, this one's a little excusable. It's to keep up consistency with a character named Kozaki. A character with his horns removed because, you know, horns are evil or something. And this keeps up with all the cards he's in, though this card featuring Kozaki with his horns covered is also censored. This time to be less violent. Apparently having your face blasted off with fire is bad. But lasers, it's good. With this in mind though, Yu-Gi-Oh has a consistent habit of changing all guns to lasers. No matter how cartoony the guns are. Bang bang bad. Pew pew, good. But sometimes changing guns to lasers isn't good enough. Through some bizarre train of thought, the higher ups decided that this cowboy guy right here is bad. No, gunman bad. But wait, I want you to think of something less violent to give him. You give up? It's knives. It's just straight up giving knives. Here's another weird one. You see this guy here? Violent guy, isn't he? What do you think they changed? You'd think they would have gotten rid of the cleaver. Nope, they changed the blade weapon into another blade weapon. You know. <laughs> uh, this one, they straight up censored scissors. Like, scissors, ew, no. Laser scissors, that's fine. That's fine. I counted as well. There are six cards with censored scissors in them. But this one is hilarious though. This guy, he's called the Legendary Fisherman. And he deserves this title. Because in the Japanese version, he's given a harpoon. Anyone can fish with a harpoon. The international version is so much more badass. He fishes with a blunt ball on the end of his stick. Straight up bludgeons fish to death. Takes way more skill. He truly is the legendary fisherman. And sometimes they don't even change what the weapon is. They just recolor them like those flame Pokemon shinies that still feels good to get, but you know, it's just a green Pokemon. This one, they straight up just changed the silver to gold. That's it. Now, some guns were just straight up removed. And it's so inane on how meticulous they are. This one took me a while to spot. It was like a literal game of spot the difference until I saw it was this tiny ass gun parrel sticking out of the rubble. In this one called Arsenal Robber, they kept all the swords and blades in, they just removed the tiny rifle and ammo belt. This one's edit was just to remove the gun shell. Like Ignite, you can hold your weapon, you just can't fire it, okay? Even though the card is called Ignite Reload, which implies it was shot, just... <laughs> This one doesn't make any sense. This one, a girl is straight up, you know, shooting her guns like Reaper, just press Q. All that was censored were the shells being removed. Now, sometimes the censorships are to cover violence. And my gosh, are the Japanese originals violent? Here's the worst offender. It's called Parasite Parasite. Look how disgusting this is. I mean, it gets across the idea of a parasite invading your body, but hot damn, is it a bit too hardcore. Here's a funny one though. You see this shark? Look how gross its insides are. Ew, I know, right? 
Looks like something you'd want to change, right? Nope, this is the altered one. The censorship was just a bit of blood coming from the wound. The wounds? They're fine. Blood? Nah, get rid of it. But here we go. Here we go. Now we're on to the good part. The censorship of sexy sex cards. Set out to corrupt our youth into liking girls or something. Aqua Spirit has a disgusting, corrupting cleavage covered up for my wholesome Christian eyes. A whole bunch of Harbi girls have their bodies covered up and sometimes they just reduce the size of their breasts. But it's not always about the boob roots. Sometimes they have their deviant stomachs covered, no matter how small. Even if the sides are covered, the front has to be covered too. Oh, wait, did I say the front? No, if the front is covered, the sides have to be covered too, okay? Now, I can hear you, but creeps, what about those sexy legs? How much are we allowed to see? And the answer is goddamn confusing. Okay, so here we have the legs exposed. And it was censored to be a little less exposed. Okay, and we got GB Hunter. She's all nice and covered up, right? No, cover her legs more. Cover them more. Honestly, the whole rule with thighs is so inconsistent. This card was censored to cover some leg, but not all. And here's the funniest. You almost have to squint to see the amount of thigh they cover through a skirt. But they did it. My favorite, barely noticeable one for the girls is in this one, in which they just removed the tiny speck of white to take away the shine on the boobies. And honestly, this isn't just a trend that's limited to the ladies. But not only that, it's way more confusing when it comes to guys. So, here we have a monster made up of, you know, vaguely geometric shapes. No, gotta give him pants. This guy is showing too much thigh, though the original is really not a flattering position for that attire. The weird thing is, they kept him in the thong in his monster card. And here, we see, you know, a roided, jacked up version of part of greed, showing as much body as possible, minus the rude bits. The censorship covers just a little bit more, which again leads to a confusing standard of what can and can't be shown. This Birdman's thighs? They're apparently fine. What they chose to cover this time was the little bit of hip that was showing. But there's one set of cards which I completely disagree with censoring. The original shows entire, uncovered breasts, bare, naked boobies for the world to see, but it was used for a purpose. Are you ready? Here you go. Here he is, a tyrant king, beating some poor goblin who had the audacity to ask him to cover up. Here he is chastising his son for wearing something to cover his chest, a disrespect to their family tradition. When he saw his other son doing the same, he went into a drunken rage, and it took nearly the entire king's guard to calm him down. When he came to, he found himself in the open, for the first time seeing the locals and how they are also wearing clothes on their body his reality crumbling as he realizes that his entire life was a lie, a prank that was set up by his father for the lols. This amazing card law is erased because four kids or whoever was in charge of censorships didn't want us to oogle at this guy's breasts. Another thing you may have noticed was the cross necklace was being removed. They made a huge effort to remove any religious and occult symbols such as crosses, anks, pentagrams, and the level of pettiness 
isn't lost in this subject either. But first, the one that blew my mind was Monster Reborn. I loved the international artwork and it was like a staple of the show, I had loads of copies of the card. However, the original was just a blue unk. That was actually a censorship. It's weird that the whole first season has so many ties and references to ancient Egypt. In fact, it's the entire underlying theme of the first arc. But unks are all censored? But anyway, back to the pettiness. You see this pig here? This image is pure evil and has to be censored to protect the kids or something. This is the original and here's the altered. The halo had to go. There are 32 cards that I counted that had their halos just removed. This baby angel fighting a devil baby? Nope, just a flying baby now. But interestingly, they didn't touch the horns of the devil baby. A theme they kept up a lot with demonic looking cards. And there are a lot of demonic looking cards. 41 to be exact. 41 cards with the horns either altered or removed. However, sometimes horns are a bit harder to remove than halos since, you know, halos are disconnected. And some of the ways they dealt with this, it's pretty hilarious. The most notable example is Dark Ruler Hades, who has his horns replaced with blue orbs. And he's featured in a number of cards, each of which the horns are meticulously replaced with these orbs. But weirdly enough, Summon Skull, you know, a staple, a classic, he was allowed to keep his horns. And here he is, shown, uncensored, alongside Dark Ruler Hades, who is censored. Which again, leaves me very confused about the standard that they've got there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this romp through the bizarre world of Yu-Gi-Oh card censorships. If you enjoyed the video, you know, leave a like. This is a video idea that's been stuck in my head for like half a year and I'm glad I finally made it. And here's a final card, which is just funny to me. It's one where the gun was reskinned, but they also took the time to alter his card piece to make it less bulgy. But yeah, I'll leave you there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.